San Francisco's Center for the Book is where multimedia artist Incia Dot can often be found working on her artist books. What is an artist book? You know, not everyone knows the definition or, or agrees on the definition, but artist books are beautiful, intricate. It's basically what the artist wants it to be. An exhibition inside the center displays sample artist books. A book has to have all the different components of content. Somebody wants to read it. It has the structure you've got to think about, the flow of the book. To make one book takes, takes a long time. Sometimes it takes months, sometimes it takes years. Incia's own books are especially time consuming to create with her unique focus on patterns. My projects have been very much related to geometric patterns, Islamic patterns, essentially. I was born in India. Patterns are everywhere in India. It's not just the mosque or the, the temples. It is on the homes. It's, um, you know, the windows there are decorated. It's, it's everywhere. So you grow up with, with that visual noise. This is what some people say here, visual noise. And so I've always been drawn towards making symmetry everywhere I go. Some of the richness is what I miss. So then I surround myself with that by recreating them in paper and in wood. So it's my way of kind of bringing that back with me and uh, helping it stay with me. The Pattern Unseen book was, there are habits that we all have. The underlying pattern that exists in all of us is always there. And so this book kind of goes through page by page of the pattern dismantling. I've used that as an analogy to show that we all have patterns unseen. And that's what the book is about. Illusions came out of this sense of everything around us is a sort of illusion of what it actually means. The Heart Longs book is about longing for something that has a bittersweet memory. The book is sort of an interleaving book. Incia's memory of difficulty seeing while wearing a traditional burqa inspired her design. The pages are covering the, the words, and that is to depict sort of that, that same restriction with the burqa, where you can't see. And so you have to see through the pattern in order to see the, the words behind. The books are made by hand. Literally, it's like I have all these sheets of paper. I have so much paper in my studio. You take the paper and then you're like, how do I take this design and translate it? Do I cut it? Do I draw on it? Do I paint on it? I sit on my computer. I literally take each of the pieces and then I mix and match and turn it around and mix the colors. Squares and circles and triangles. <laughs> It's like playing around with these constantly. And then I cut it out and then it becomes even more magical. And then you add depth to it. It just goes on and on from there. The cutting is done. Some of it I use uh, certain machines. Some of the cutting has to be done by hand because it's so intricate. It's like all these little pieces that get cut out. And the cutting happens, it's all over me. I go out, sometimes there's paper stuck all around me. My dog has probably right now some on the face. 
you're like almost all through but then some cuts you just mess up and it's not recoverable so you're pretty much have to kind of throw it away which you feel sad too but you know <laughs> that's part of the game you're gluing it you're folding it there is no machine for that part When it's time to bind pages together, many methods are possible. Stab binding is one. The binding has to appear on both sides. It's the same pattern. I first designed the Islamic pattern, and then I made the pattern of the binding exactly that. Insia's current project is also rooted in Indian culture. Henna dye is used to decorate hands before a wedding. I just recently had an idea about using henna, henna patterns. I know that I do want some henna hands in it. After being output from the computer, a three-dimensional polymer plate is made and prepared for printing. At San Francisco Center for the Book, now I'm trying the letterpress with the polymer plate. It has a nice deep impression. It has an old world feel. It has a sort of tactile feel to the book. I feel like the indentation is more realistic. I know I want a poem that reflects the feeling of a bride. But at the same time, I want it to not just be about that one moment in life, but be a journey that arrange marriages and, and sort of what the implications of those are. Somebody told me that ideas are like butterflies that are flying all around you. And you can choose which ones to kind of look at and keep and which ones you let them fly away. And so I feel like I have all these butterflies all around me all the time and it's very exciting. That part is, is just it what keeps me going. 